Short Course Man, um, Short Course Worlds in, uh, I don't know how to say it. Uh, Hangzhou. Hangzhou, China. Uh, and he is, uh, was a finalist for the Golden Goggles Award, which is like the Academy Award for Swimming, uh, for a breakout swimmer, because he's had some crazy swims, and he has put himself on the map. Um, <laughs> um, so he has to kind of get out of here in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Experimental <laughs> stress analysis. There you have it. What is that? First, I was going to say, first of all, explain that, and how do you manage speed school with swimming? Because swimming is such a time-consuming... Um, so I try to plan most of my classes around practice. Um, this semester I intentionally took one that was during practice because I was going to take it with one of my buddies who's gone pro and still around. And then he told me that he wasn't, he decided he wasn't going to take it, but that he knew the professor really well. And I made friends with the professor as well. So we're just going to kind of work around that this semester. But he's kind of like, I have a calendar. I look at it probably like once or twice every class. And, and when I'm not in class, because I don't have class Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this semester, which is awesome. So I look at that, you know, three times a day, make sure, like, put in all my stuff. I'm like, okay, I got this homework due on Thursday and this homework due Monday, so I should probably do the homework. If it's Wednesday, I'm like, I should probably make sure I got the Thursday homework done before I do the Monday stuff, and then just kind of live deadline to deadline. How much time uh, in the pool do you get daily, weekly? What, what's the typical schedule? Uh, so we got an hour and a half Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday mornings, three hours on Saturday mornings normally, and then two, two and a half hours mon every afternoon. And then Wednesday mornings off, so that's our recovery time, which is nice because we have the, our hard practice, which is Tuesday night, VO2, which is tonight. So uh, come by Ralph right after this. We're going to be going fast. Um, but then we do that, then we get a little break to reset for the rest of the week, and then we, we hammer home at the end. What do you ex kind of expect from this? It's new, obviously a new team as you kind of come into ACC in a couple of weeks. What do you expect out of this group? You guys are ranked in the top ten. I just expect us to perform, really. I mean, that's what I've expected us to do all year. Is And, you know, how we perform is going to be different than how uh, every team that we ever go up against performs. They have different... Um, different people they have different combinations on their relay but i'm trying not to focus on that we're not trying to focus on that we know what we have we know where we're strong and i believe we're strong in almost every if not every field uh diving included uh diving's come a long way since my freshman year which is uh awesome and uh, for them and for us um but yeah i just, just want to go out there and swim um at the end of the day it's a swim meet and you're racing for first and then whatever happens after that is points and every point matters, so. Why do you think Louisville swimming has become so effective, so good? Mm. Um, there's, okay, so I'm gonna go back to practice last night. So practice last night was not hard at all. It was not, we look at the set, you'd be like, oh, piece of cake. But for some reason, it was really hard. And it did not feel good at all. And I was like, how did Arthur know to write this practice? Not hard, but he knew because I'm like, there's, he knew that it was going to be hard, but he knows, I think, how we feel without us even telling him, and he has a plan, and everything that we do in practice, whether it's warm-up, uh, the preset, the main set, the warm-up, how everything's designed, uh, he's got a plan for everything. Uh, when we do what kind of practices, um, the weight room stuff, everything has a piece and plan, and you can tweak it, modify it for every different person, because I'm a mid-distance guy, and that's going to be different than... Uh, Marcelo Acosta, who's, he's going to come in and swim, you know, miles just for fun. And then you got the sprinter. So there's different things, but he tweaks it for everyone. And then the coaching staff is all on board with that. And so when the athlete buys in, then you got everyone on board. Then you got the support staff behind us with the nutrition and uh, the mental health, which I think is getting bigger as, you know, we try to go and perform at higher levels. Um, but we have everyone with us. And so really the last piece is the athlete buying on and that's obviously the most uh, crucial and once you have that then that's when you become unsolvable. Zach, what was it like competing for Team USA in China with Mallory and Kelsey and how has that translated into collegiate play? I mean, um, I'm going to say it's built me up with a lot of confidence. Um, so fun fact about the China meet was it was short course meters and I've never really swam short course meters and only swam short course yards 
And the difference is only probably about maybe like half of the length, maybe like three-fourths lengths of this table here, but it's just long enough to mess up everything, your stroke count and everything that you've planned on and you're used to. But going over there with Mal and training with Mal and Kelsey and uh, with Carlos and uh, someone else too. Um, but we had a, a small group there at practice consistently working, and so it was nice having them to rely on and, and working with them beforehand and going over there with them and being comfortable and having people that I was really close to over there, people I could talk to, and then people that I could support after I was done. So that was a lot of fun. And then being on Team USA is always an honor, so I just tried not to take that for granted. And I was fortunate enough to be on the relay, um, which was, also, was always one of the highest honors is just being on a relay. It doesn't really matter what spot, but they gave me the anchor spot in the morning. And, you know, when I was growing up, they told me that the anchor spot was the last spot. We kind of do it a little differently sometimes, but because there's different strategies, you might want to put your faster people in the, the beginning to get them out, and I'm sure that's what they were doing, but uh, that just meant a lot, just being on that relay, and then they let me anchor it. So, it's, I mean, it's always fun racing in a stadium, which is where it was at, and so, I mean, I'll have that memory for the rest of my life, and then I go, I make, I make a lot of friends, because I talk to a lot of people over there, so I got friends literally all around the world um, that I get to look forward to seeing every so often. Zach, we've talked to you a couple times before, and, and Batman always comes up. Um, but I saw, I saw a story, like I think it was in December when you were over there, that said you're becoming more than just Batman in swimming. Is that fulfilling for you? That I mean, I know you like that. You like people to notice that, but to notice your swimming maybe more than, than what you do before the race. Yeah, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, well, essentially I'm a performer, and then under that I'm, I'm a swimmer. And so... You know, the Batman thing was just to help me swim fast, and I don't, I don't want to say for sure that, that period's ended, but, um, you know, it's nice being able to put my swimming kind of more on the on the front plane and be like, I am able to compete at this level with these guys. I don't have to win every time, but just to be able to throw my name in the hat and say I can do this with you guys is what's really important to me. What's it like having a senior day swim? Seven. I didn't know what senior day was until my freshman year, so that was probably three years ago, and I was like looking forward to giving the speech, and now it's finally here, and like doing the senior, all the senior stuff on the meet. I'm not looking forward to it as much because that means that my time here is coming to an end, but it's going to be bittersweet, I'd say. As a fan of comic books and, and superheroes in general, Aquaman comes out. Are you happy about that? Are you not happy about it? How did it turn out? Jason Momoa did a great job. Um, I went and saw it. I waited. I didn't go see it on a training trip. I waited to go see it with my parents uh, when I got home for Christmas. Um, it was a well done movie. And Jason Momoa did a great job as Aquaman because he was one of the characters in comic books that didn't get. He was one of, one of those iffy characters, but I think DC did good on that. He redeemed the character? He did. Good. Anything else for Zach? Okay. Thank Thanks, guys.